contemplating this, yes, you know what 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 are we seeing the options out there for the, for those types of situations? Yes, so obviously the go to on this one is to reach out to your preferred lender and see if you can actually qualify to carry both mortgages. Um, and so what that means is that you have enough debt to income ratio to carry both properties. Now we do try and if we get that pre-approval letter, we do try and find the house first, get you under contract. But most of the time we're pushing that closing date out, you know, and possession date out as well. And that gives us a little bit of time to get your home on the market and under contract to help line up that sale so that you aren't necessarily buying it before you sell, even though we are In putting contract. it under contract before you list your home to sell. So we've actually been able to do that quite a bit. You know, and it, honestly, it's going to take a savvy, well-experienced real estate agent to accomplish that. And on it, and we have done that numerous times this year for yeah. our seller turning into a buyer and, yeah. and have done it seamlessly. Um, there's, there's a, you know, an art to it, if you will, there is in the negotiations and um, it really helps to have that seasoned agent mm -hmm. on your side um, negotiating for you, but also your lender having a, a strong uh, lender in this real estate market is like cash. Yes. So um, you can't, we just can't uh, stress the importance of who you're going through for your pre-approvals. Yes. By all means, please reach out to us because we we deal with uh, several different mortgage uh, loan originators and national companies that are very reputable and well-respected in our uh, market. They're well-respected so. in the market. Uh, they are seamless. They help communicate with the listing agents if you're on our buy side. And their offers go a lot, like a really long way with um, a potential list agent just because they are well-known in the industry. I actually pulled our numbers. We helped about 82% uh, of our deals were where we were able to help qualify to carry both, but we actually found the house first and then lined up a longer closing to list and then sell the property. Which eliminates carrying two mortgages Correct. when you can get that timing mm -hmm. worked out in your negotiations. So yep. can't stress that enough. Um, you know, as a worst case scenario, you, you know, you'd have to get that second mortgage. But I'm happy to say that all of our situations mm -hmm. where we've had sellers that wanted to buy, yes. that um, had to sell, um, we did not have one of our clients be put in the situation where yeah. they had to exercise that yeah. second, carry that second mortgage at all this year. So and if good you, job. I, I know, know, right? Good job, know. right? But everybody was comfortable, but we do keep a backup plan. Right. So if in the, in the case that you do carry, you know, qualify to carry both, um, we talked to our lenders and our preferred lenders have, you know, two different ways to handle if we do have to do the closing. So worst case, like mom, say you bought your house and we just didn't get it all lined up. We have it where if you close on your new house with minimal cash, but you knew that you were going to take your proceeds from the sale to get to 20%, what we do is the lender will just recast your loan, which means they'll take that lump sum from your sale and apply it right towards your principal balance on your new mortgage. All of your terms will stay the same. But you can do that if you are planning on putting 20% down. Right. That's it's one of our little backdoor yeah. secrets. Yeah.